still the fourth year in a row I've had it before the year. Um, I've had Tyler, Mr. Strong, and heard all the arguments. I can give you out the sections I handed out to you all before with all the lawyers' letters and why this is a problem. Um, I think it's time we act. Uh, I think uh, having worked with stakeholders, the ones that would work with me, we came up with the best definition they could come up with. There are going to be some that say at the end that we need a comprehensive solution. We need to do 100 pages of domestic violence in the code. We probably do, but that's not what this bill does. It says in child custody that we should consider cases of domestic violence and child abuse. And I'm happy to answer any questions. I think most of you here have voted for this bill at one time. So um, the, the bill's not actually the force. Oh. Yeah, because we. Um, voted to report it, I believe. Yes, you did. So uh, there, and, and, and again, it's similar to the last bill, but I didn't initiate it on this one. And people come to me and say, that great insights about the definition of it. Uh, and it's too broad, they would rather have it study. One of those groups is the Family Law Coalition. So the reason for the back of the document was to um, give the committee another opportunity to consider it. But we can't do that unless and until there's a motion to do so. So, um, if the committee wishes to reconsider this bill, the proper motion would be having voted on the prevailing side whereby we report this bill and if they wish to immediately reconsider it. Just one quick note before you make that decision. Uh, Family Law Coalition, I've been open to talking with them now for four years straight, and they have refused for four years straight to sit down with you for a single conversation about this bill until they passed out a subcommittee, which was two weeks ago Monday. That was the first conversation we had. Okay. So, did anybody want to? I would make that motion, Chair. Okay, is there a second? The motion All right, there's a motion and a second. We consider House Bill 2650. All those wishing to reconsider, voting, wish to adopt that motion, please say aye. 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 Please say sign. The bill is before us. Um, we will take uh, committee notice of the remarks you just said. Um, I believe that the, the definition is too broad, and I believe that it needs to be looked at and studied in the off year. I teach this word. I don't know that there's anybody here. Do you have anybody who wants to testify? Uh, the, the, the sheriff of Fairfax, Fairfax County, Stacey Kincaid, was here to, to testify on behalf of the bill. She had to get back to, to Fairfax County. If you, if you want, you can represent. I, I can represent the sheriff. Uh, given that we've heard the bill and your concerns, I think those concerns, could we or should we put this in the same posture? Let, let me say this. I do have someone here who supports the bill. I don't need the bill to be. The, uh, the hall. <laughs> My staff is not here. The was it you, sir? I think it was. Did they, they said you wanted to just find the bill? Okay, you're going to kick someone. Uh, I might as well be kicked. Sure, I think it was you. Uh, so I might as well talk to you. I do want to say this about the definition, though. I had four different definitions over four years. First definition was uh, the biomax and family and household would be put outside the house. Second definition was other abuse. Third definition was the definition that everyone, including the family law bar, said was okay. That's the definition that Chris Collins put in the bill this year. That was a very broad definition. And this fourth definition is one working with uh, the Indian Poverty Law Center and the uh, the um, the Alliance Against Sexual Violence Agree was the one that had the least the least uh, possibility of of other consequences. So I don't believe there's any definition that will satisfy the family law bar, and they've never presented one to me in four years, and they still don't know one. Okay. So the idea that there is one out there, I think, is a little bit disingenuous. Yes, sir. Please state your name and who you represent and your position. Mr. Chair, Doug Smith with Families Forward. So this is uh, Chip from Lady Pack, Virginia, and Prevent Child Abuse, Virginia, about a year ago, merged. And we've been watching this bill, we've been watching this uh, Delegate Collins bill, as well as the Delegate Levine bill. Uh, we are in support of this. But we understand that the committee has, may have some pause or some concern about the language. Um, I'm not going to get in between uh, Delegate Levine and other groups, except to say that we do believe uh, that anything we can do to root out where children are going to be potentially more neglected, more abused, um, is something to come with. It's certainly of interest to as well, and so we should work towards that. And to that degree, we support the bill, and uh, if it does not go through, we should move back. Okay. Thank you. I feel like you are. You, you are. You 
question or comment? Um, I guess it was a question, essentially a motion, Mr. Chair. Um, I would certainly write a letter to the extent that that matters, and that can occur as the chair you said as well, if uh, there was a desire of the committee to uh, have a group in earnest look at it in the off year. Before that happens, I, I, uh, I think I can uh, do something that would even have the Federal Law Coalition in support. And that is to strive domestic violence as much as it pains me, and just have child abuse. Include child abuse in the code, child abuse order. We will take out uh, or domestic abuse, as that term is, and just leave in the inclusion of child abuse, which they have agreed, everyone has agreed, that child abuse should be effective. There's been a uh, complete agreement on that. So I think we can move forward on that. And then I would still hope you have a letter about domestic abuse. I think that if people have a history of domestic violence, they are not good parents. It's a, it's a section nine. What it would do, actually, in the bill is we would take out the definition of domestic abuse, which is currently on the, the bill defines domestic abuse. That's it. So we take that out, and then in line 199-200, it would say we leave in the code, and actually leave the code exactly as it is. All the change would be to add the words child abuse or in line 200. That would be the only change to the current law. Can I ask you a question? I don't know the answer to this. I'm not, this is not a true question. Is child abuse defined as Child abuse is not defined. Sexual abuse, which is currently in the code, is not defined. Um, the age of physical and mental condition of the patient is not defined. Need of the child is not defined. All of this is a court that's looking into all these factors, deciding what the court wants to decide. Sexual abuse, again, specifically is not defined. I think you could have some argument about what's sexual abuse or what's not. Courts have, have done fine with it, and no one has complained about the fact that it's not defined. And, and actually, no one has complained about adding more child abuse. I mean, yeah, I just, and I had, and I was just saying, that, yes, how is he to be, I mean, an allegation of spanking a kid by a, a strange, I mean, you know, uh, somebody that's in a, a situation that could be a, 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 a spanking that could lead to a, I guess, an investigation of some sort. I don't know. So, so again, what this bill is, is a court applying the best interests. Test. The court can accept and does. Mommy let Johnny stay out after 9 p.m. That comes in. And Daddy let Johnny watch an R-rated movie. That comes in. And they watch cartoons. They should. That comes in. Why shouldn't child abuse also be a factor to be considered by the judge, along with these very tiny factors you're considered every day in every custody hearing? Um, again, it's up to the judge to decide what weight to give an allegation. But I remember, I remind you back, Tyler Strong, we all met two years ago, all right? He suffered abuse, but um, it, it wasn't brought to light because uh, his dad had, had uh, cracked the skull of a two-year-old infant, but the court said that's not his child, it doesn't matter. So even though it was child abuse, and even though he was arrested for it, um, they didn't allow it in. So I just want to say on child abuse, no one disagrees with me on that, or has ever disagreed with me on that. Our fight has always been about domestic abuse. And I think they will confirm it. Thank you, Delegate Lady. Uh, Delegate Ward, do you make a motion or you just uh, comment? Uh, well, I was in the process of making a motion, and uh, the patron, I guess, was exercising his last word. His right, uh, first right. 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 <laughs> um, I hope you. So, I do take a motion in the order. I would be uh, happy to write a letter. Uh, what's the will of the committee? I'd so move, Mr. Chairman. So, uh, gently lay this Very gently lay this on the table. Have a second. Have you send a letter to uh, have folks talk? There's to no opposition to that. Is there a second to the motion? There's a second. All, right. All those on the committee, please cast your vote. That motion carries on over six to one. All right. The uh, next bill on the agenda, I don't see Delegate Fair. 